Hey guys, um, I got a few packages and one of them I know what it is and I'm very excited about it. So I figured I'd open them with you guys. This one I don't know what this is. This one I don't. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, makeup. And this one. Oh my gosh, my camera's about to die. I'm opening as far as I can. Help. Ready? I'm so excited. I finally found wheels. Woo! Okay, we are back with a little bit extra juice. I'm gonna slide you guys over a tint. Okay, so wheels have been washed. I pulled the bearings out. I cleaned the bearings. They are all here. I looked them up, they're not really great bearings. Um, I have, this is my little like, so the Bones bearing cleaner, Bones bearing pull tool. Did I clean that? Bones Speed Cream. The bearings I'm gonna to use to replace the bearings that were in the funded wheels. Say that 16 times fast. 16 times fast. I can't even say that 10. I'm using the Red's Bones bearings um, because I heard these are really, really good. So I got those. And then just because I didn't say before, um, these toe stops are from Roller Stuff. Excited and also like definitely gonna to have to take these out today too get comfy because I heard like, I mean, the thing is, the nice thing is, so I'm going from, oh, I'll show you, I also don't think I showed you my skate bag. This is my skate bag that I'm using right now. This is by the brand Globland, and they were generous enough to send me a couple bags. So in my bag, I have my wrist guards. These are Cypher wrist guards from Amazon. Then I do carry, oh my gosh, there's so there's no AirPods, gotta charge those. Um, I bring the crab tool with me just so I don't have to bring like my power dine tool, but like for changing all my wheels and stuff, I would be using my power dine tool. It's a lot easier. But like when you're just out and you're skating and you just want to tighten up your toe sock, for example, really quickly, or maybe loosen your trucks. This is small. It works perfectly. And then for the stars of the show, these are my Moxie Lolly skates. This is the outdoor complete package. This is the 78A Moxie Gummy Wheels, the traditional Carrera Toe Stop that you can see I've definitely used. Look at that. Yeah, everything is original here. I haven't changed that much, but I'm very excited to change the wheels on this. I think my skating experience is gonna be quite different. As you can see, there's a definite size difference in wheels. The gummy wheels are literally like monster trucks compared and you can kind of probably see here, oh, wait, they're a lot skinnier than fun day wheels. So let's see if I can angle you down like a little bit and you can see what the heck it is I'm doing here. So first thing we're going to do is take off the nuts and then we'll get to changing the bearings. Well, we'll put the bearings in the fun day wheels and pop them on. So this is probably going to be a time lapse, lapse because... Honestly, a lot of it you just need to watch. <laughs> get scared with the fan on happy friday i technically started this vlog yesterday on thursday with my install and upgrade of my skates maybe you're seeing that now as i'm talking <laughs> so today is friday i'm didn't work today because i got a new client and i don't work on fridays and it's great i'm finishing up my art commission it's going to be done the next like two hours can't wait for you guys to see it. I already took some photos this morning. Just doing some like set design so I can like photograph them really cutely. 
anyway um so finish that up and then i have a skate date with my friend which would be really fun and then we're gonna go get juices and then figure out what the heck we're doing for fourth of july weekend because we both are like what i don't know so right now my counter looks kind of cuckoo bananas because i have i pulled things out of my closet i have like this little do you guys see this on tiktok i have this arctic air mini ac it's portable and you just put like ice in here and then there's a filter. Can I do it with one hand? Can she do it? Nope. Okay, there we go. There's a filter, which actually I do need to take out. And then you just soak her. And then to make it extra cold, whoa, this is like turbo power. So really get that nice and wet. Um, then I just wring her out a little bit. And then I toss it into the freezer. Let that freeze. I also have my ice cubes filled and they're ready to go. And when that's all nice, nice and cold, I'll put the frozen filter back in. I'll put some ice cubes in some water, close up shop, and that usually goes in this little section of my closet because I don't really venture over here that often. And then it also blows the air out to the rest of the house room. So um, I went to Home Depot super early this morning, probably like. 9 a.m. because I've been up since 5 30 and I'm like by the time it's 9 o'clock I'm like y'all it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon like that's how it feels so I went there super early had to pick up just a few last minute bits and bobs of materials for this art commission so that way it's all set by the time the client comes and picks it up so I'm just making some smoothie some, what is wrong with me? I'm making a smoothie that feels good to me Okay, so now that they're finally complete, I can show you guys the project I've been working on for the last two weeks. This is the art commission, and it was a big undertaking because I've never done something this big before. But basically, a friend of mine bought like seven of my vessels, which obviously you guys know of that I make. If you don't, I make vessels. There's an Instagram below if you want to see what the heck I'm talking about. My brand is called Muse Muse. Check it out. But my friend, or this woman that bought, and my friend, this girl bought seven and she kept three for herself and they're just like around her home. And then her friend came over, saw the vessels, was like, oh my gosh, I love them. Can I get her to make me some? And she's like, oh, absolutely. Here's her number, da 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 And she's like, well, I actually want her to make me table, make me a table. And I was like, what? Like when I got the text, I was like, oh, uh, I don't make tables. I just make the vessels. They're like 12 to, you know, maybe nine to 12 inches tall, like four and a half inches wide, you know, whatever. My friends, she's like, I really think you can do it. I would love concrete tables with the orbs on them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never done this before. Um, I was like, okay, I can figure it out. So let me show you how it turned out because I am stoked and I hope she loves them. So here is the first ever Orby table oh my gosh I have it styled because I was doing a little shoot for Instagram I am obsessed and here's the two other ones she I wanted me to do three uh, so here's the other ones the little duos there and they're just so oh hold on hey Google stop they're so cute and now I'm like well this is kind of like perfect in my home I had it here for another shoot I swapped this out put one of the tables here for another shoot and it was like kind of perfect and I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> do I need to make one for myself? Cause this is like kind of insane. So this is what I've been working on. This is the art commission. I'm so happy with how it turned out. She's coming over today to pick them up and I hope she's obsessed. Now I am going to change my, am I gonna change my clothes? I think I'm gonna change into shorts and then get ready to go skating with a friend. So I will see you guys at the park or at the court. I don't really know where we're skating today. Might be the basketball court. Either way, see you soon. Whoa, hair is cuckoo bananas and I don't know. I mean, at this point, do I really need to fix it? I just got to the park or got to the court. No one's here. I have got my skates on and oh my God, scared the crowd out of me. Sorry, I'm literally vlogging from my chair. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. I'm filming for my channel. But hello. Hi. Hi. Um, okay, so we're gonna test out these new wheels and see how they go, but I may feel like Bambi because they I haven't skated on anything like this before. So let's see. Whoa, 
I'm home now. Did I actually just wake up from like a little nap? I did. I took a little nap. Uh, the girl who showed up was my friend Ashley. I wonder if she was. I mean, probably. It's not every Ashley. Anyway, so friend Ashley. And um, skated for a bit. It was really interesting. I feel like I did have a little bit of Bambi light syndrome going on. Like, oh, I'm feeling like a new skater again with these harder wheels. Mind you, the front day wheels are called hybrid wheels. So they're good for indoor and outdoor. And I could feel what people say that they still have a little bit of bounce to them, but they're still hard. It's very interesting. It's kind of like you need to skate on them to like get what I'm saying. You can feel uh, the ground more, and I felt myself like getting whoop. Oh, that was baby pebble. Like, but then once I got used to it and started working, like I started getting some jumps in. So I like them so far. I definitely feel like my spins were a little bit tighter, and as I gain more confidence on them, like I need to keep skating more and more on them. As I gain more confidence on them, I think then I'm gonna really like. I mean, I really really like them. But I'm gonna really, really like them once I get more confidence in those wheels. You know what I mean? But overall, my skates feel so much lighter. My jumps are higher. I already noticed that. That I'm really getting a lot more air. I'm gonna be a lot more air. Like I mean, I'm not like springing like a six footer off the floor. Not at all. But I'm getting a few inches of more air. I'm happy about it. And then we went to yeah, we went to a vegan bakery, and then we went to a juice place, grabbed a juice, and got two bunches of free eucalyptus because. This shop was throwing them away. We're like, are you getting rid of them? They're like, yeah. One, that's like one. They're like one area is yellow. I was like, that one leaf. Cut that part of the leaf off. Are you kidding? So I got free eucalyptus, which is great because the eucalyptus, the eucalyptus that's in my shower currently is like she's gone, 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 gone. So I was able to refresh her, which is so nice. And as you can tell, the table is now are gone they got picked up today by my client and she loved them i did post the photos on my instagram and her friend who connected me to her saw them she's like i'm so happy the way it turned out and i was like i'm so glad everyone's happy ah. now i'm here looking at shoes for the wedding i'm going to in a few weeks in new york that's right i'm going back to new york i'm so excited ah! can't wait to see everyone just be in the city I am doing a stop in another city before then. You'll hear more about that. But I feel like now I can just be like, ugh, like now that that commission is done. So unbelievably happy with how it's, with how it turned out. But man, am I tired. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Um, I'm in the midst of getting ready. I'm going to an estate sale with Ash, the friend that I hung out with yesterday. Um, my computer next to you is currently overheating as I'm uploading this weekend's vlog. So that'll be up by the time you're watching this. So if you haven't watched it already, click the card. I think it's in this corner. Mm -hmm. And check out last week's vlog. So I am rushing because I'm pretty sure there's a sign-up sheet. So they can only allow like, you know, certain people in at a certain time. And it's a little ways away. So... I'm hoping it's really good. I looked at some of the photos and the, there's options look pretty good. And if not, hopefully there's like some pretty good thrift stores in town that we can check out. And then I need to, I really need to drill down and like get shoes for this wedding that I'm going to. I might actually just finally go to a thrift store. Cause I was like, no, like I'll like thrift them at a flea market or like something like that or an estate sale. But I just haven't been able to find what I'm looking for. So I think I'm going to go to a thrift store today. And then I also just got alert that I got an audition request for pilot. Hello? Um, an audition request for a pilot, which is pretty cool. So I need to go print out my headshots and get my resume together, my acting resume. Hello, I am blurry. There it is. Hey guys, I am home from the estate sale. I got some really cute things. Wait, look at these pants. Everything, uh, there's quite a few things I need to get hemmed and like altered and stuff like that, but the prices, wait, I literally have the receipt, weirdly enough, on my phone. I never send you receipts, but this one I did. 
very strange. Um, look how cute these pants are. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at these little fruits. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. <laughs> you can really see. I will try them on in another video. Definitely taking these to New York with me. Literally with this top, they're actual perfection. <laughs> um, I got this sweater that I'm gonna crop. How insane. And then imagine it, okay, so maybe if I shortened it, let's kind of think of it like this. How cool. Like oversized, super graphic, even with these pants, perfect. I'm so glad I got these pants. These pants, I also got from an estate sale last month. They were $10 then. Oh, and this was $10. These pants were $5. I also got this sweater too, also cropping it. So this, so insane. I love it so much. And then if you wanna see it cropped, like imagine this. Dude, are you kidding me? So freaking cute. Even if I did a longer crop on it, like a regular length, it's gonna be hard to see, but like, ooh. Bit of a longer crop on it. So cool, $5 or $10 I think for this. I got this really, really awesome polo that also has elbow pads, or shoulder pads and elbow pads, goes together. It says shoulder pads in it and look at the, the design. They're little flowers. Cute, $10, $5. This shirt, unreal, it's so cool. Look at this shirt. And I what is it made out of? I couldn't even tell you, but it's so sick. Look at the back. Carmel by the sea. It's just, it's not even made out of cotton. It's made out of, I have no idea. There's no even interior tag other than crazy shirt, Hawaii, size medium. Oh, it is 100% cotton. It's a very tough cotton then. So that, love that. And then this is the suit I got. So it comes with a skirt so the idea is I'm going to get the skirt brought in and I'm gonna make it a mini skirt with the slit right here at the kick so think of it mini skirt super chic and then this is the blazer which I'm gonna switch these buttons just to navy buttons but like even with this outfit can you imagine it's so cute so freaking cute. This was 10 or $20. This is also crooked. Three quarter length sleeves. I just, I'm very pleased with today's finds. Just so awesome. So I need to get this all washed and dry cleaned and then taken over to get them hemmed and all the things. Then I just got a package. Che, I hope you enjoy your skate covers. I'm obsessed with the mod prints. I will send you a DM when the orange and green are ready. Oh my gosh, this girl, so sweet. She saw um, from my vlog like a couple vlogs ago that I started skating and reached out and offered to make me custom skate covers. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the sweetest thing in the world. Oh my gosh, comes in this little bag. Oh, and a sticker, I love a sticker. Oh, they're, they're cards, okay. So this is her Instagram. So definitely reach out to her if you like them. Look at these, <gasps> these pink mud. Oh my gosh, skate covers. I'm gonna put these right on my skates. I'm just gonna take a quick photo. So cute. Oh my gosh. Talisa, thank you so much. These are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. And then she sent me something else. Oh my gosh, she sent me a skate tool. Which will be amazing because if I do end up getting it, I would love to upgrade my skates to, like I would love to get the jack boot. So cool. That was so kind. Thank you so much. This is so unbelievably kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna try these on. What is that? That keeps happening, I don't know why. Ciao. Okay, so I just popped the skate cover on and look how cute. Oh my gosh, it goes so much better with my fun day wheels since they're lavender. Oh, 
this is so fun what a cool way to change up your skates and also to protect the color so if you are looking for a way yeah to protect your skates this is one way that was so kind oh my gosh <laughs> they're so cute <laughs> Hi, okay, uh, my new luggage just got here. It's very large. Yes, so I figured I'd open it. I'm very excited to have, it's just one piece of luggage that I bought. I don't need a lot. Um, and I almost kind of feel like I have too much now because I have um, a carry-on and then I have a medium. This is a large. So I'm gonna see if I can stick the medium inside of this large so I can just keep things minimal. And if not, I gotta figure something out. <laughs> eight years since I got new luggage so I figured it's time and like I said I think a couple clips back every time I would pack in my green luggage which you've seen I'm always like ah it's just not big enough this is the luggage I got Ooh. this is the Jen Atkin X Calipac collection luggage it's made fully out of aluminum and polycarbonate so all the corners are also reinforced with aluminum and it has really i forget what the brand of wheels are but it has like best in class oh they are oh hinamoto wheels and then also i don't like bags with zippers because i feel like the zippers always bust so i only like bags that have a snap closure which this does so if you just open the snaps this is what it looks like inside. It comes with one zipper compartment. I'm gonna tell you now that the luggage will not fit inside of here because of these interior compartments. But one large compartment here with a zipper compartment, which is nice. And then it also comes with a pouch, which I'll talk about what's in the pouch in a second. And then this side has hooks. So you unhook this section. And then you have your other compartment here. Um, so I'm gonna work with this, play with this, oh that's interesting, uh, for a couple days and see how I feel and then, you know, it works out great and if it doesn't then I'll send it back. It was also on sale, 30% off, so it was nice to, although, oh no, you know, just kidding, I think it's final sale, so if anything I might have to sell it online, but, um, it's really nice. So this is the other luggage that I have, oh wow quite a bit smaller i'm like am i really gonna get that much more room out, out of this it doesn't look right so this is a 24 this is a 28 inch i feel like it felt so much bigger they also have a trunk but they sold out of the trunk in the red and i do like the red a lot it's a lot of red and black i couldn't even get the black um they had pink and gold and it just was mm, it's not really my energy but it definitely is wider so i think i am going to get a higher capacity fill in this which i'm just gonna i'm gonna do a test fill i'm gonna pack a certain amount of clothes in this pa oh my gosh pack a certain amount of clothes in this suitcase and then pack a certain amount in, pack that same amount in here um but i think capacity wise it technically is this one has more capacity than this and you can see like the height differences so yeah i'm getting a few more inches see that i'm getting so many i'm getting quite a few more inches of width so it is bigger so that's what i'm thinking and then you can see it's also a little bit taller so I'm gonna get a little bit more room, which is nice. Now it's just to decide, sorry, well that was weird. So now I just have to decide, do I just do I only keep the Jen Atkin luggage and get rid of my Delcy, which they don't even make these anymore. I literally wanted to get the same thing, but bigger, and they don't make it anymore, and I was very disappointed because I love it that much. It's so great, and I looked on eBay, and I looked on everywhere. I've, and you know, I scour the interwebs. Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, try the whole thing. Could not find it and held off for a very long time, but now I have a trip coming up um, in 11 days. Ooh, okay, got, I got things to do. So the one thing about Jen Atkins luggage is obviously she's an influencer. So she made this little pouch to come with it. And what you get back here, you can see in here, this is a clear case that will go over the luggage so it doesn't get scratched up and it stays looking nice. She also included sticker packs, which obviously, you know, I'm obsessed with stickers. I have a huge collection of stickers that I'm staring at right now. Please don't steal me, the flight window. I love the googly eyes, it's so funny. Fried chicken. So I love that she included that and then I have a bunch of my own. So I'm excited. Excited to, yeah, test this out this week and then 
like I said, if I end up like not falling in love with it, I can secondhand sell it. Good morning. Everybody, it's Sunday, it's eight o'clock in the morning and I am getting ready to head out to go get a mirror because I don't know if you noticed, she's gone. She's gone. Um, and you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, like why would you move it? I didn't, it fell. <laughs> Cracked, shattered all over the ground. So now I'm going to pick up another mirror from Facebook Marketplace and start all over again. But you know what? It's okay. Why is it okay? Because I've been wanting to paint it another color and now that I've increased my skills a bit, I think I want to try, what is the cement, it's not like, a, it's not like industrial grade cement, I don't know if that's a thing, but there's cement that you can hand mix. So I think I want to either do the same squiggle design before and then coat it with the hand cement mixture so it gets this really cool cement texture i don't i mean <laughs> that's like what it is or here's another idea we know the foam here so i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this down and smooth this out and i was also gonna put the cement over that after i reshaped it i'm wondering then if i can use the cement use the foam to create the same squiggle texture shave it down make it really smooth paint it because then it'll be really stiff Oh, this is a cool idea. But then I'm thinking, this stuff is the stickiest thing in the entire world. Literally the stickiest thing. And I'm like, I can't flip it over because it'll be stuck to the, do whatever I create the shape on. Like, I usually use a plastic throw sheet or something to paint on, to do everything on. And it'll stick right to that. So anyway, long story short, it's, it's 8 o'clock. I'm going to go pick up a new mirror and start all over again. Happy Sunday, everybody! Good morning, guys. So... Apologies that yesterday I barely vlogged. Yesterday was just a little bit crazy, so I picked up the mirror, which you saw, and here's the mirror. I literally got it home from where it was, parked the car, I was just going to close the door, I like, had the mirror in my arm, so I was like, let me just put the mirror down, lay it against the fence right here, close my door, lock my door, you know, being safe, and literally cracked it. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? I got it all the way home in that sketchy way. I mean, I fixed it. Like, so basically this piece fell off and I glued it back on. But the thing is, if I were to keep this one, I'd be DIYing it anyway and something would be covering this corner and stuff like that. So it's not a big deal. But then I ended up finding the vintage mirrors I really wanted and I'm going to pick them up on Wednesday. So this is just going to go. Back up on Facebook Marketplace. So that worked out. Okay, so that was one thing. And then I was like just hanging around yesterday. I was about to start painting my nails, which ooh, they don't look as nearly as neon as they are in person. They are neon orange. As I was sitting and like doing the nail polish removal thing, doing, you know, moisturizing my, cutting down my cuticles and like filing my nails, da da da. A friend of mine texted me and like I just knew in the pit of my stomach, I was like, oh gosh something's up and nothing's ever up with like any of my friends you know like everyone's very copacetic and calm and there's never any drama it's just like all my friends are very chill very responsible very smart like and that includes this friend so i was like wait whoa something's going on i can feel it but like this person is like such a good person like nothing they would never do anything Okay, all right. So basically, I had to go pick up a friend from a situation, you know, um, and that took multiple hours because it's like gone, picked them up, brought them back home, you know, and talk about like what the heck that just was. And it's just so sad, and my heart was broken for them. And I'm just like, oh, why are people like this? So that was all day basically yesterday. And then I literally just came home, ate dinner, went for a walk around my neighborhood. People were setting off fireworks literally everywhere. Had my music in, just walking around thinking and all that stuff. And, and now we're here on Monday, but the weekend continues. It's 10, 21. My friend Ashley's gonna be here in a minute. And we're gonna watch mm, season six together. We only watched the first two episodes. Um, and then she had a bunch of travel, but obviously work stuff for me started like really increasing. So it was just like one thing after another, so we haven't actually caught up in like a minute. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. But this 
is, you guys probably remember this from another vlog. This is the Tyneco Otaneko Moto 1. This is a blow dryer. And I already had one <laughs> before. And it literally just burnt out and stopped working. So I reached out and they sent me a new one. So hopefully this one also doesn't stop working. This is what the hair dryer looks like. This ring blinks blue or red. So blue when your hair is actually more dry, red when your hair is very wet, so you kind of know. And then it comes with various attachments that just are magnetic. So very helpful. So there we go. Yay. All right, hey guys, I'm out I'm skating with my new skate covers. Oh, I hope you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, I got the new skate covers on. And so when I pulled up to the park, I saw there was like a bunch of cones out and like three people out in the corner. And I was like, oh, there's a skate lesson going on. Very cool. So I kind of just like came, put my, you know, laced up my boot and put my music on, like put my AirPods on. And I was like just doing my own thing. You know, roller skaters get to chatting. And they run a skate company called LA Skate Camp. Do lessons Tuesdays and Thursdays, and the next week we Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, so I'm gonna see if like the group of girls that I like kind of put together want to do a class together, which would be so fun. All right, friends, we just wrapped up dinner. It was perfection, and that's gonna be a wrap for this vlog. Thank you for watching another one and hanging out. Comment below a roller skating emoji if you watch to the end and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share this video it helps me so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye